Hey guys, RC here, back with Draft Day Sports College Basketball. This is uh, GM Games and Raging Cajun seven seven three four six bringing it to you today. Uh, definitely check out all the other videos and series going on here at GM Games. And then I am a guest vlogger. Check out my stuff on my channel as well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like buttons, and all that other stuff. And now. Let's get on with the rest of the season. So today's episode, we're going to power through to the end of the regular season. We are here at Northwestern State where we are doing okay, but not as good as we've done in years past. I have finished the regular season. I had selected Sim 2 conference tournaments, but I have not looked at the scores yet. So this is where we ended up last time against Houston Baptist. Uh, I forgot to check the standings and stuff before, but if you want to see that, jump back to the last video and just check it out at the end where we do the recap. All right, moving on from today's date. So got to keep in mind, we're chasing back-to-back 28-win -back seasons. Uh, we've been pretty consistent. Um, so a little nervous this year, little nervous this year. All right, we do get a road win, and that's something we've been struggling. If you watched last episode, it was one of the things we focused on is we're really struggling with road wins. So we need to pick up some road wins down the stretch here. So a 64-56 victory. Joey Walls, player of the game, 13 points, three boards, five assists, one block, one steal. They did take it to us on second chance points. Uh, we had a slight advantage in the fast break category and a slight advantage in the paint as well. McCleary with 13 points. Walls also, as mentioned, with that Baker's dozen. Eight points for Bachman and seven points for Degala off the bench. So that's a pretty big win for us there. Central Arkansas, not the biggest, uh, biggest foe, however. And here's a home loss. That doesn't bode well. We had been pretty unbeatable at home, so to lose a home game, ow, that's that's going to leave a mark, I am afraid. Tim Howard, player of the game for them with 14 points. Sims had 10 points, Walls an even dozen. Five assists for him. 10 points, seven boards for Sims. And we did get 10 from Hunter and 11 from Lumpkin off the bench. Both of them playing less than 10 minutes, so more than a point a minute for those guys off the bench. Not sure why. Well, they didn't play a ton of minutes. Okay, that's interesting. But that's not the loss. That's that's That loss could come back to haunt us. And let's see, there we are, 10-point win at home over McNeese. I always say it, any win over McNeese is a good win. We dominated them in the first half, 18-point advantage. They got us by a dozen in the second half, though. Made it exciting, a lot closer than it should be. McCleary, only three points. That's rough, rough. I still don't get the plus-minus. Somebody out there has got to know how the plus minus works. Help me out. Let me know in the comments down below how the plus minus is calculated because, you know, 50% shooting, but he only took two shots. I don't think, I don't find that a very good game. I don't find that a very good game at all. <coughs> Sims with 11, 10 for Flores, 17 for Walls. We've been, you know, he's been our go-to guy. 14 for Bachman. We do get seven apiece from Degala and Hunter off the bench. So that is positive. 30 points in the paint. We're really throwing it down low into the blocks. Definitely doing that. All right. 81-60 over Stephen F. Austin. The Demons beat the Jacks. That's a big road win. Player of the game, Joey Walls, 26 points. Gotta like that. 10 out of 15 from the floor. Four of nine from behind the three-point line. 10 points for Flores. 11 for Daniels coming off the bench. 
all around good performance. I'd like to see McCleary taking more shots than Sims. I don't, not sure how to really dial that in. You know, I mean, I, you know, I know there's some tweaks that you can do, but there's nothing that really says, you know, I want to say there was the, the other basketball game that I played, and I hate to bring it up in a Wolverine game, but it was Fast Break College Basketball. It came out in 2010, and I was involved in an online league with that till about six months ago. And, you know, you could actually go into your roster, into your lineup, and you could pick up to three players to focus, to have them be your primary focal points of your offense and they would end up taking more shots if you selected them it might be a nice little tweak and you know it, it doesn't hurt to to you know take something from other developers if it makes sense and makes your game a little bit better you know nobody likes to reinvent the wheel from scratch right but anyway big win there and didn't play that day there we are. Ooh, Lamar. Lamar's the team that got us last year. Nick is at the wire, I think, by a game or something like that. They've been really tough. So we had a one-point lead at the half, and they just blew us out in the second half. Only one player in double digits for the game, and that's Walls with 11. Five of nine. 23 out of 54. They had 11 more foul shots. McCleary and Flores were in foul trouble. I mean, they still played 23 and 25 minutes, but you can see Degala 15 minutes instead of the 10 to 12 he normally gets. So definitely made an impact with how the game transpired. All right. Oh, that one's going to be, you know. At least when I look at that other game and go, yeah, we just got our socks blown off. This one, three points. We, we dominated the paint. I mean, we dominated this game. Where did it come apart? We had 10 more shot attempts. But they shot they shot sixty two and a half percent from three point land, and they had thirty eight foul shots. Jeez! And yet we only had one. Well, we had Degala off the bench and Flores, so both of our centers in foul trouble. God, who's our? Did our English our English player play twenty freaking minutes? Whoa! And only scored nine points. <laughs> but he played 20 minutes. He had to. That's how far down the depth chart we went. Oh my gosh. Ow. That's brutal. That's brutal. All right, so we've had a few losses here. I am not happy about it. 92-81 over Southeast Louisiana. That's positive. McCleary, there we go. 60% from the floor, 17 points. 16 for Walls and Sims. 10 points and 6 boards for Flores. Hunter with 14 points. So 5 players in double digits. Bachman. Nine points, ten boards, eight assists. That's how we win a game. It did go to overtime. Wow. It did go to overtime. 17 lead changes in the game. And we blew a 17-point lead at one point. Ow, ow. Not, not happy with those final statistics, but... At least we won, right? Oh, Lamar. Lamar lost to Sam Houston. They, they were having a good year from what I remember. So I haven't recorded in about a week. Uh, I did have an out-of-town trip this week. So 
Yeah. I've forgotten a little bit, but I seem to recall Sam Houston was the team that was really doing well. We got a 10-point win over the Jacks again. 11 for McCleary, 10 for Sims, and Walls goes for 26. 10 of 21 from the field, 4 of 7 from three-point range. They all played, just about all of them played over 30 minutes. Not much in the way of fouls, so that's good. And that's reflected with 16 foul shots. 9 of 20, 9 of 24. We were up 12 at the half, and they outscored us by two after intermission. So that's, you know, it is what it is. Another loss to HBU. Actually drove by HBU yesterday. I drive by there every once in a while. It's on the uh, southwest side of town. Uh, but, yeah, nine-point uh, nine point loss there, huh? Dead even, dead even, and they got us on second chance points. 20 points for Walls, 12 for Bachman. You can see our rebounds. Nobody had a very good game rebounding. Uh, defensive rebounds where we normally shine. And offense, strangely, they didn't, they only had five offensive rebounds. So I wonder where all their second chance points came from. Either that or they just weren't missing a lot. 46, 48%. Yeah, everything in there is pretty even. That's a rough one. That is a rough one. All right, so this is the playoff now. So we can go in and... So that's the end of the regular season. Ooh, a post-game incident report. So, DeGala was mouthing off about Frank Flores, huh? I don't like him, and we'd be so much better if we played him instead. Hmm. That's interesting. So, DeGala. Well, Flores is shooting 58% to 33%. I mean, even Glenn Harris is out shooting Degala. Free throws, rebounds. All right, so we're gonna have to call him. All right, and I guess. All right, so there's no way to end the call. I guess we just hit the X button. All right, so we've we've taken care of that. There's your top 30 uh, player of the year candidates if you're interested in keeping score at home. So you can pause that and check it out. All right, standing time. Second. 16 and 11, not a good year. Because we were, what, 28 and 6 the last two years? Each of the last two years? 11 and 7 in the conference. I mean, we were still right there at the top of the league, but, I mean, that's a log jam. We, we should have run away with that. Sam Houston, as I thought. HBU's up there. A lot of teams in, in you know, over 500. I mean, hell, even Southeast Louisiana went, went 17 and 10. Wow. We've got a plus 50% 50 per, 50 ratio RPI. So we had the hardest RPI, it looks like, in, in the conference. But man, that's a bad season. Uh, 16 and 11. So 15 or more games, we've done that. Top three of the conference, we finished second. So we've done that again. So our job security should ease up a little bit here. And let's take a look at 
Conference Tournament. Southland Tournament. It's not what I want. Game Grid. No, I think I want the tournament. All right, well, let's... We're going to work on that next semester. Uh, next semester. I'm thinking in college terms here. Uh, I was talking to one of my kids about their next semester in college last night. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the postseason next episode. Let's take a look at because these episodes are going a little bit quicker by pre-playing all the games, which is okay. Hold on. March 1st and March 3rd. And I did... Why would it have me down for two games in the tournament already? Hmm? Hmm? All right, let's let's not look at that. Let's look at this. All right, that is the 27th incarnate word. Weird. All right, well, I mean, I I selected Sim 2 conference tournament. So this should be a conference tournament game. Just assuming just assuming. All right. Any any injuries? None. Stats for the, you stat junkies. I'll throw that up there, and you guys can pause that and look through that if you're interested. I will sort it by points. There you go. So Walls, Bachman, Sims, McCleary, Flores. Frankie Harris, 5.6 coming off the bench. Calvis Hunter and Degala with his attitude. He's playing, you know, he's played 27 games, 16 minutes a night. I mean, he's, it's not like he's not playing. In fact, he's playing more minutes off the bench than anybody. So I don't hate him. If I hated him, I'd play him behind my freaking English giant here, man. Maybe I ought to do that on principle. Hmm? 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 Don't push me, Degala. I'm like a stretched rubber band. I could snap at any second. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that'll wrap up this episode and the regular season. Pretty disappointed, honestly. I mean, you know, we still finished second, but it just wasn't a regular season for us, I'm afraid. So, next episode, we'll do the conference tournament and see if we go dancing. And then we'll go through uh, either, well, both any tournament that we're in and our games in particular. And then we will also go through the NCAA tournament. So, that may run a little longer than normal, but that is normal for that particular episode. Guys, thanks so much for checking it out. Let me know what you're thinking and uh, look forward to seeing some comments from all of you guys. And we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Take care.